Do you want to start elevating your cycling? Do you want to start getting the most out of your training? Well, you might want to add some intervals into your rides. It's not as simple as going as fast as you can, then as slow as you can, and then repeat. There is a little bit more to it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to master the art of interval training, how fast you should be going, how long your recovery should be, what types of roads you should be doing it on, how many sets and everything else. What is interval training? Well, hard. That's what interval training is. But in very simple terms, interval training is alternating between high and low intensities. This can be anywhere from 20 seconds max sprints to longer three minute efforts, even 30 minute blocks of intervals at a certain intensity. There are no set rules on how to structure an interval session, but essentially it'll be a high intensity effort followed by a short rest and then you repeat and then you have a longer rest in between your sets. By having more focused training by doing intervals is definitely going to lead to more noticeable improvements because you're really making the most out of that session that you've got rather than just riding a lot and not doing anything specific. So you're definitely going to be maximizing your time and getting the most bang for your buck. Sounds really easy, right? You just get on your bike and you go out and you do your intervals. Well, yes, but if you want to get the most out of your intervals, it does involve a little bit of planning. First up, warm up. Now this is a really important one. No matter what sort of length your intervals are, make sure you do a nice thorough warm up. This is going to give you the maximum chance of hitting those power numbers that you have set. Depending on what efforts you have, you want to think about the route and the roads you choose to do your intervals on. Roads with lots of traffic lights, junctions, roundabouts, lots of potholes or heavy traffic aren't ideal for doing intervals. When you are doing your interval session, you want a nice, flat, smooth road, no distractions or traffic lights or anywhere where you're going to have to come off the gas and interrupt your session. So a road like this is perfect for doing really short efforts, maybe sprints. But if you are looking to do hill ramps, you want a hill that has a nice consistent gradient. No way where you're going to have to come off the gas or it goes downhill anywhere. Don't be afraid to ride up and down the same road multiple times when you're doing your intervals. When I was pro, I used to do a 30 minute ride out to this perfect road to do intervals and then spend the next two hours riding up and down the same road until I completed my efforts. Now, once you've decided on what intervals you're going to do, you've done your thorough warm up, you just want to have five minutes just rolling along, catch your breath, and bring that heart rate down. You want to make sure you're on the right road to the interval, and that's all that's left to do is do them. Now, this is the hard part. Are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Now, depending on what intervals you have, it's more than likely going to be very hard work, but try not to overperform in the first few because more than likely you have a fair few sets to go and you want them all to be quite consistent and you don't want your power to drop off right at the end. So make sure to try and keep a consistent power. Don't let it drop off at the end and make sure you finish on a high. Now, depending on what your rest looks like, it could be really easy pedaling, just really soft tapping on the pedals, or it could be moderate pedaling, so still putting a fair bit of pressure through the pedals. But no matter what, make sure you make the most of the rest. Try and really concentrate on your breathing, bring that heart rate down, spin the legs, get all that lactic acid out, and take the opportunity to rehydrate so you can hit that next effort nice and strong talking about getting into another effort it's about time here we go again three two one go now if you're wondering how intervals are meant to feel they're meant to feel pretty hard and horrible 
But if it is your first time doing intervals or you've just upped the intensity or the power of your intervals, then you might fail. I have failed a lot of interval sessions, but that means they're hard enough for you and they're going to be doing the job. But if you do fail, it doesn't matter. You might just want to readjust the power or the intensity, bring it down 20 or 30 watts and get them done. Spread it, bring it down and not do them at all. The moment your interval sessions start to feel quite comfortable, it's time to up the power. Woo! Another tip I have when you are doing your interval sessions, make sure to add the workout to your head unit because when you are guessing it 10 out of 10, you don't want to be doing quick maths in your head of when's your rest coming up or how long you've got rest, am I at the right power and all that. So if you do add it to your head unit, all the information will come up. Now you can do this on your Wahoo. The Wahoo system app has outdoor sessions that you can add to it. And there's loads of different sessions that you can choose from. Um, I think I might skip the 20 minute FTP test today. Maybe I'll go for a um, sprinting session. Sounds a bit more like me. Right, let's do it. So there's how to master interval training. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite intervals to do when you're out on your bike. Make sure to give that thumbs up button a big old click and subscribe to the channel whilst you're at it. And I'll see you in the next one. Probably doing some more intervals. <laughs>